Buffalo State College is proud to introduce the International Center for Studies and Creativity. So my name is Dr. Gerard Puccio. I am the chair and professor in the Creativity and Change Leadership Department at Buffalo State, a department with a long and storied history, uh, a history that is very much connected to two families. And I'm quite proud to have two members of those families with us today. Sue Parnes, who is the daughter of the founding faculty member of our department, Dr. Sidney Parnes, and Sid had a very close working relationship with the fellow who is credited for inventing the word brainstorming. I should say not just inventing the word brainstorming, but really served as a pioneer for the entire movement in creative education, a uh, Western New Yorker uh, by the name of Alex Osborne, and I'm also joined uh, by uh, with John Osborne, who's the grandson of Alex Osborne. I, I know my dad put a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears into uh, getting approval and creating the Department of Creative, Creative Studies at Buff State. And I think this whole idea of dedicating a library to him and an innovation center to Alex and showcasing really a lot of the history that started in Buffalo. Buffalo is kind of the epicenter for all this. So I'm very excited about being a part of this. Sid and Alex, their, their, their primary goal in bringing uh, an understanding of the creative process, not that challenging the, the, the notion that people are born creative or they're not, that, that binary either or kind of uh, concept that, that, you know, for, for years and even today still exists. But the idea that people can be taught and nurtured and created, creatively coached to learn how to tap their own creative resources. But they wanted to create this on an educational basis. And they saw that at the college level, if they could, if they could get this out into the colleges and the universities of the world, it would, it would make a huge impact. And you know what? Buffalo State is the place that also saw this uh, aligned with this vision and brought it into fruition. I can't overstate the meaning of it in terms of fulfilling a mission of these two men that were brilliant and had this, this vision, but it didn't necessarily fit in with the way society thought of creativity and, and creative process. Well, thanks, John. I appreciate that. At a time when there are other universities and colleges that are starting up similar programs, we've got a 50-year head start thanks to your families. So it's quite a legacy that we have to, to build from. As far as kind of continuing the legacy, I mean, I'm, I'm just excited. I, I really think the community in Buffalo is going to be excited about this. I, I kind of see it like, um, you know, you go to New York and you go to Niagara Falls and you go to the Innovation and <laughs> Creative Studies Center to see this new, uh, this new piece of work. So I'm, I'm excited. I think it's the ninth greatest wonder. I love the hallway that has the history in it because I think that's really important. And again, I, you know, like John was saying, Buff State is the epicenter. So there's so many people that, um, I, that I know will be pictured in that hallway that need to be remembered in the, in the process. So I'm excited. We're just so happy with the ongoing commitment of the people currently in, in ICSC. And my dad, Gerard, I would be so especially proud of you, your accomplishments, your commitment, your generosity and enthusiasm for the work that all started here is so commendable. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sue and, and John, your families, Sid specifically, and of course, Alex, were crucial catalysts to this worldwide movement, but we wouldn't be in a position to celebrate that legacy if it was not for the generosity of your families and for the commitment that you've made to this innovation project. So 
from the bottom of my heart and for all of Buffalo State, I, I want to say thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm very excited to see it come to fruition. But I wanted to say last, my, my grandfather's uh, most widely used, often used as a textbook at the time in creativity was applied imagination. One of his beliefs was that a, uh, a fair idea put to use is better than a great idea left on the polishing wheel. And so often we, we want to wait for that perfect perfection of an idea uh, and it never gets put into practice. But thanks to Sid, who was able to implement something uh, and bring it to Buffalo State and to Buffalo State and to you, Gerard, who've been able to carry it through five decades and, and your and your predecessors. Um, you know, I just think that uh, that, that uh, the manifestation of applied imagination uh, of an idea put into action that's grown over time is like one of the great accomplishments, you know, uh, not just from my family, but from uh, from the city of Buffalo, from Western New York and for the world. Join the Parnes and Osborne families in continuing the legacy of creative studies at Buffalo State College by giving today.